Welcome to the 2024 USL kickoff presented by Terminix. Throughout the month of March, the USL will be kicking off across the country. Join us for all the action on ESPN and CBS, and yet somehow came out uh, completely empty. Now, great first touch there and an opportunity in the box. Tulu, the tackle, it's going to be a yellow card and a penalty to Indy 11. Tulu, hard to say, pretty dangerous tackle. Though. Yeah, uh, you're exactly right. You explained it perfectly. I don't know how much of his foot he actually caught uh, on Jack Blake, but like you said, he was kind of going in two feet, kind of a reckless tackle. He was put in a poor position. Tulu was by Oscar Jimenez, who's really struggled in the first 25 minutes of this match. And we'll see if Tyler Derrick can come up with something special. Blake. Boy, there's nothing you can do to stop that one. What a strike. 1-0. Indy 11. Shades of last week for both teams. Blake scored the first goal last week for Indy 11. And, of course, against 901 FC, they gave up the first goal last week and around this time to Las Vegas Lights. That was basically a flawless penalty, J.J. There's really nothing Tyler Derrick or anyone else. Yeah, Peter, I think you're absolutely right. You're going to have to go short, you know, put the ball on the ground and play instead of just lumping in balls into the 18-yard box. Jimenez, with a good touch, is able to clear the ball away, but up into a position that Callum Chapman Page handles well. Blake with a good touch. There's back to Blake. Blake crossing into the box. First time strike caught without too much difficulty from Tyler Derrick. Ball played up. Gibson in a dangerous position. Cuts it back. Williams first time strike is high and wide. Just about half a yard short on some of these passes. Good tackle over there on the far side from Luis Fernando. But now terrific job from O'Brien. Puts a great ball in. Dangerous position and out of position is Tyler Derrick and it's goal number two. It's goal number two for Indy 11. Douglas Martinez. Fabulous work on that far side. Eden Stanley got that ball in, put in a dangerous cross. Derrick came out and could not claim it. And it was a dangerous, dangerous position and an easy finish for Douglas Martin. Cutting the ball back across the box. I think if they keep doing that, they'll find success. But defensively, Peter, they got to be much cleaner. The fourth official has added a minimum of five minutes of added time. That is a lot of added time. And now we've got a second yellow and a red card for Oscar Jimenez with a tackle right on the edge of the box. We mentioned it has been a bad game. Point. So take a look. We were in a different shot, and there it is. No question about it. Pulls him down, and I think Tulu may have had that covered, but Jimenez, no question about it, just pulls Cam. Lynch. Maybe if you can get a goal before half or an early goal in the second half and then uh, hope for the best, maybe get a late goal in the second half and tie this thing up, you know, maybe that would be best-case scenario. Beautiful long ball from Fernando. Akeem Ward cuts it back, dangerous position. Now Duncan again trying to get his feet settled. Ward to the byline. 1v1 against Lindley. Good cut back edge of the area. Hindman takes a strike well wide, making their lives miserable. Ball given away, though, and a chance for 901 FC, potentially. Over to Santos. Santos, been a real bright spot in the second half. Cuts it in right foot shot. Just a moment where it looked like maybe Ertl might bobble it a little bit, but he got it under control for 901 FC. It will be Abdullah Sissoko checking in along with Dylan Borzak. So Borzak unconcerned as are the rest of the players. Carriaga continues. Plays it out wide. Again, plenty of space. Borzak floating it out to Vom Stieg. Vom Stieg, pretty good cross. And another flicked header on Santos well wide. Call your heads it on, but goes right back. And now this is a dangerous break. If they can find that one touch, they couldn't do it. Williams was in. He was in with one good pass, but fortunately for 901 FC, that pass never came. Keem Ward, who seems 
still just as full of energy as ever. Gets taken off the ball. Now three on two. And a chance to seal it. Great save by Derek. And the ball is cleared nearly off the line by Lucas Turchi. Akeem Ward, long ball looking for the run of Dylan Borsak, who got there. And again, that header, not necessarily where he wanted to be, but into the 90th minute we go, 2 0. One touch and then bang out to Collier. Collier 1v1 against Bomb Steeg. Great job, Bomb Steeg. And he's going to draw that foul. Got that foot in. Perfect tackle. Collier with the foul. Six minutes of added time is going to be the call. And that is, that gives you a little opportunity there. Now, Borzak plays it to Nico Brett. Save made. He's absolutely ripping into his defense, telling him, guys, there's, once again, there's still time left in this match. Low ball comes in. It's going to be hit again. They wild bicycle kick. It's a goal. Unbelievable goal. 901 FC. My word, was that Sissoko? It was the center back. Where did that come from? Incredible. 2 1. And there is life. In 901 FC, yeah. Borzak, uh, Borzak was there, but unable to get to the ball in time. Now this is definitely it right here. The long throw from Duncan. And that is that. What a finish to this match. Ultimately, Memphis 901 FC coming up.